Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this By moment. Diddy has been arrested in New York City after a grand jury indictment, and we have the breaking news. Though charges in the indictment are unknown, Billboard has confirmed the arrest. The rap mogul has been hit with at least eight civil lawsuits alleging sexual abuse over the past year. Now, according to TMZ, Diddy was taken into federal custody at the FBI's Manhattan field office. In a statement to Billboard, an attorney for Diddy said, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man. He is an imperfect person, but he is not a criminal. We'll keep you posted as the story develops. For everything we know, head to Billboard.com. Recent- You're hearing Diddy everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So... Did you ever have any kind of run-in with Diddy? Did you ever do anything with Diddy? Any projects you worked yeah, out with him? Yeah, he's produced a few records or had his uh, producers do a few records on my um, War and Peace album, the Peace Disc. Yeah. How, how was he to work with? It was cool. You know, he, uh, you know, gave us great music. We uh, flew out to New York and... Uh, I was mainly in in the in the studio with the producer. You know, he had a stable of producers, so I was in the studio with his stable of producers, and uh, I think we did some great music. Hope, oh, yeah. Any specific reason? Yeah, I mean, you know, they was doing their thing. I was doing mine, um, and you know, I'm not the partying type. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't never been to a Diddy party. I ain't never really wanted to go, but. I don't go to a lot of people parties. You know, that just ain't what I'm in it for. You know, I, I, you've been the one, you've been to them all. Are you uh, surprised at what, it, what things are coming out with Diddy at all? Or are you like, you have no idea, it's none of my business, you'll live long. <laughs> kind of like the mindset. I, I'm, um, I mean, surprised. How could you be surprised with anything that happens in hip hop? You know, it's so... You're going to have the good, you're going to have the bad, you're going to have the ugly. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his L.A. home? Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. I I believe, you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make, you know, this stuff, this domino effect happen. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so you don't think uh, 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 you know Shook said you can say what you want about Diddy but Diddy didn't learn to like young boys he learned it from a man named Clive Davis he threw Clive Davis in there You, you it doesn't sound like you're Sessions. part of that camp Jackie so who's right. next y'all don't see the lineup oh, yeah, no. yeah we see the lineup see. I'm just waiting to see who's next who's yeah. Jay Z is setting Diddy up. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing shit. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and took his love lined up R. Kelly he wants to be the one yeah, shout out D. Haven he actually hit us up wanted to tell this story you need to talk to D. Haven yeah, we need to talk to him <laughs> I told you that last year you when did. I put you on the phone with him you did I want you to think about this allegedly Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way. Jaguar right. He is the most shameful thing I've ever done. There is nothing that I experienced with that person that has not inspired shame except for Unplugged. That was the purest moment um, for me. It was all done in love 
for music, love for all that was there, love for the culture. Uh, I hate the fact that we did it all for a culture vulture. I still got the footage. There you go. There you go. And in one week, Jay-Z unplugged the actual whole concert from beginning to end will be viewed and able to be viewed on realjag.com. Come and see the history. Come and see the power of that moment, the amazing things that we did with our bodies and our minds and our spirits. There was not one person in that room that was not elevated that Bonsman. night. Beyonce is allegedly running and hiding with the kids after Diddy's lawsuits continue to mount and her time is limited because many people are saying that her husband, Jay-Z, is next. So Queen Bey gave Jay the impression she was going to be there for him through thick and thin after surviving multiple affairs. But she had to call it quits as Jay is allegedly facing prison time after his alleged involvement with his best friend Diddy in trafficking. Bey is allegedly separating her assets with Jay to protect her brand after allegedly secretly filing for divorce from him back in June. Bay and Jay knew about Diddy's wrongdoings, so they could be considered accessories to the crime, and some are saying they might be a little more involved with the Colombian dancing powder than we originally thought. Bay specifically might be investigated after it was speculated across the internet that she may have allegedly deleted her competition and may have allegedly had Jay's mistress, Kathy White, murked. This is why Bay is releasing albums and going on concert, because she's trying to stack that paper before the 90s. charges rain down. Jay-Z Jay and Diddy share a very close bond. Diddy recently revealed that only two individuals can call him by his birth name, Jay-Z and his mother. But Cassie and the record producer's accusations against Diddy have cast shadows over their relationship. Because Diddy seems like the new Epstein. Jay-Z faced scrutiny over his alleged romantic involvement with Foxy Brown, who was just 15 years old at the time of signing her. Allegedly a romantical thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but we know, we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. Allegedly, Jay-Z orchestrated this relationship in exchange for a Hollywood career, even paying her hush money. Jay-Z's longtime friend and former business partner, Dame Dash, allegedly confirmed the truth. So in this tangled web of fame and secrecy, Jay-Z and Diddy find themselves at a crossroads. So in case you Who didn't know... The frustration is why y'all didn't say nothing about it. That's what my point was. How is nobody saying nothing about it? Like this nigga raping girls. They know that it was a girl. He said he married a 15 yeah. year old. And everybody at that point, until it became common or like it became the end thing to do, wasn't nobody disrespecting R. Kelly. Everybody was still going to his shows. Until it became popular opinion, people weren't looking the other way. So what I was was disappointed in every fan that didn't care that this dude was raping a little girl and actually, you know, tried to, you can't sugarcoat it. You cannot marry a 15 year old, period, in America. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? The fact but that she he, died, she died in the plane crash. There ain't no conspiracy there. Yeah. There, ain't, there is no conspiracy. Oh, that? No, yeah. we all knew what was going on. He well, made you it about You're in the world. No, it was common knowledge that he was married to Aaliyah or he painted that picture of him being sexually with her at 15. Yeah. That was publicized. There wasn't no conspiracy. Everybody know. The question is, why you're in the army? Why didn't you think that was weird? Oh, for sure, I thought it was. So, weird. did you still listen to him? Listen to R. Kelly. At that time? Yeah. I'm sure I did. Knowing that he was having sex with a 15 year old, as a grown man. I mean, are you kidding me? The stuff that we heard with Michael Jackson, everybody's trying to verify. That's, and say, that's not is, my is that question. Even possible? The reason why I'm asking you this is, yeah. so you know, the DNA and the problems I have to deal with. Even though a smart man like yourself knows they something shed. is wrong. When he did the record with a. Uh, with him, with Jay, that's why I was kind of, that was almost like one of the things where I was just like, he's out of here, Jay. I just let it go because I couldn't believe he did a project with her, with um, R. Kelly knowing that he had raped my girl. Foxy Brown has been silent on the details of her relationship with Jay-Z, but rumors of a relationship between them persist. We didn't, we didn't shame, we didn't shame Jay-Z when Foxy Brown came out and said, man, Jay-Z was f***ing me when I was 16 years old with that harsh mm. Foxy Brown said that. Did nobody shame uh, Dame Dash when he got with Aaliyah right after R. Kelly? Man, we can go that on time. and on. Foxy Foxy Miles, would you be coming up so long work with, work with her? You know, yeah. You guys work pretty well together. Yeah, yeah. It's that, that, uh, 
that that male female you know what i mean point of view though you you just that our point of view is so strong that it has to be you can't be ignored you know what i mean it's like an ordinary point of view it's like very controversial you know you got to speak about it so it's cool it's cool you guys get along pretty well yeah yes yeah. fox is she's 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 a baby but she listens to me you know what i mean she's tough you know what i mean she she's a strong she's a strong she's a brat but she listens to me so it's cool you know what i mean baby girl she's good Young she's women cool the a allegations person that against- gets neglected and you know i know i know in the 90s was different a lot of older guys mess with the girls that were under 17 years of age. And, you know, now we're a little more educated because of the talk shows with Oprah that we went through and Dr. Phil and, and stuff like that. Even Ricky Lake and all of that. We realized that it wasn't so cool messing with the underage young ladies. I never had an attraction for you, someone younger. I always looked and had attraction for older women, so I probably didn't have that problem. But then everybody that I f- with did. Everybody. I'm going to expose somebody that we all forget about. Y'all see this picture of Jay? <laughs> Jay-Z with Aaliyah when she was underage? Y'all forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Damon Dash messing with Aaliyah and, uh, and R. Kelly. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was underage. Yeah, I remember Fox Brown and Jay. And then Nelly song with the Lake St. Louis takes. But I'm just saying all that to say, Foxy was young then as well. And so, all of these, uh, these guys, and the underage young ladies was running rapid in the 90s. And so, that's all I remember. That's all I think about. What many people don't know is that Wendy Williams allegedly had a tape of Diddy and Jay-Z partaking in adult activities with a third, very young looking person. She leaked a screenshot of this freak off tape back in the 90s on her radio station and told viewers to check out her website to see it for themselves. She only leaked one frame of the footage since the actual tape itself was so bad it was almost criminal to possess and more than likely illegal to share. Wendy allegedly reported the tape to the police who did nothing because it was impossible to tell if the two people in the tape were the rappers since their face were covered. Unfortunately for Wendy, the news reports at the time echoed the authorities' sentiments as they couldn't verify the people in this video either. But Wendy was convinced and doubled down, outing Diddy as gay and into young boys before anyone else did and all of this hit the fan the years later. Diddy and Diddy J- situation is like, I'm just glued to my seat, just waiting to see what's gonna happen next. I'm waiting to see if, sure. uh, was Jay-Z's part in it and all this because his name keeps keep bringing them up. As a society and a culture, we've always we've always heard and we've always suspected, mm. you know, we just haven't had the right information or the right leaks to continue with the investigations or continue with the the al- allegations yeah. as they would consider it. Mm. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, you know damn well Jay Z's involved with this shit. You know, we know how the industry works. You know, it's not about conspiracies or nothing like that. It's just about reality. Like back in the day, we didn't have the technology that we have now, so we was always like, "Well, is it true? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it?" Because we didn't have the right things yeah. to. Culture. We got you. I feel like when you think of Jay Z now, you think of Beyonce, and Beyonce is our beloved, and you just don't want to think of Jay Z. You know, he's this rapper that started out in the projects he kind of had his little gangster rap then he kind of elevated married beyonce we all know his elevation now he's you know pushing black power and all these things and black owned businesses and stuff like that so i find it hard to believe that he would be dumb enough to allegedly as jaguar stated get free pregnant um abuse jaguar all these things that she is alleging and she's saying that jay-z has really done worse things than diddy (sighs) 
she has smoke for Jay-Z. She said that her husband, her very first husband, um, worked works with still to this day Jay-Z, number one, and that he also uh Jay-Z actually Here put him uh, Jay-Z you know, out of body experience. Like it's like wow. Like you really made it when you're in the studio with Beyonce's offering you motherfucking water and fruit and shit and you know and just mm. chilling. Yeah, so what's so so what's that what's that session like? That session is just like you could imagine it'd be Jay's quiet. He don't he don't he ain't the kind of dude to walk around the studio writing and thinking and something. He sit there and he just he let the music get in him, mm -hmm. you know, and whatnot. And um gurus at you know at the controls. I'm on the beat, B's over there chilling, cool as shit. She's so humble, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? S sweetheart, right? Jay'll just be sitting up there humming, he'd be like <laughs> making these little sounds and shit. And then he just cock his hat to the side and be like, <laughs> it's, it's go time. <laughs> like, all right, guru, I'm ready. That that's simple. Yeah. He go when he cock his hat, and nigga go in there and just start nailing that shit. I'm like, I ain't see this motherfucker right now. Nah, one lyric. But continues. Diddy was position he's a powerful guy, so they a lot of people position themselves to him as friends. Yeah, but it's like it ain't it ain't they job to say something. Like well, like what they supposed to say when you got all these wild out like nothing they say is gonna change what the fuck is going on. Jay-Z or Beyonce, whoever could come off tomorrow and say, I stand with Sean Cone, you know, like whoever. Right. Future could come out tomorrow, I stand. Well, not, it's so not gonna 50. change what's been said and what's going on. Yeah. So it's like whether somebody say something or not, what does it change? Fit that's what Fit is basically saying that Jay is like disassociate just like because I mean we all black dog and, and you'll see these dudes take pictures together these are the billionaire class of guys but we may be talking about a rock nation brunch from six years ago we don't know if Diddy and Jay took a picture in the last when the last time we seen them that's together a fact. we don't know that we that's be going fact. off we seen off social media that's 10 years old that's and 20 years old we don't know if they didn't kicked it in the last five years they probably fell out or we don't know. Right. We don't know. So for and me. And then some people don't stand by this kind of shit. Some, some in the street, like certain shit. For, for real. Certain you it's can't stand. Wrong. I Cuba wake up Gooding. in the morning, got turned and say short. Hector, Cuba Gooding Jr. I was like, hey, excuse me. Pull me into this. Um, I think, I think whatever he's dealing with, he's, he's on his journey, man. I think that God has got him on a path where I, I can't imagine that he's stupid enough to do whatever he's doing and keep it on his premises. I think that the raid and all of that stuff, only time will tell who was involved, who had been a frequent guest in, in these places and areas. It's funny because my lawyers said, you know, every outlet in the world wants to talk to you. And again, but I had never met him till probably 2019, 20. Just casually, Claudine and I, he invited us to his house. The pandemic was starting to ease, you know. And hadn't seen him since that night where this guy with this, this picture that says that I had my sh shoulder on him and all this stuff. Made it, making it look sorted. Well, that picture, everyone in the room, there's probably 300 of us on the deck of P. Diddy's, I'm going to show you, on P. Diddy's boat, New Year's Eve. I went from one ship, Happy New Year. So I hung out with Tyson mm -hmm. and next ship, there's Drake. This ship had P. Diddy. He had his guy, his videographer. They're listening mm -hmm. to music. Mm -hmm. That's it. For Ice Cube exposed Jay-Z's alleged involvement in certain illegal activities following Diddy's recent arrest and legal troubles. Diddy, who is facing serious charges, including allegations of misconduct and trafficking, will now expose the involvement of Jay-Z. Some sources claim Diddy is prepared to retaliate by revealing incriminating details about Jay-Z, potentially involving misconduct committed by him. In a recent appearance on the PBDB podcast, Ice Cube shared his thoughts on the multiple legal allegations against Diddy. Ice Cube described hip-hop as the Wild West and implied that these legal battles are part of a larger pattern involving high-profile figures within the industry. Jaguar Wright recently stirred controversy by claiming on a podcast that Jay-Z is involved in allegations with Diddy. While Jaguar Wright is known for making bold statements about industry elites, there is no concrete evidence supporting these accusations. 
Jaguar Wright has made multiple controversial claims about prominent figures in the music industry, including Diddy and Jay-Z. She has accused Diddy of being involved in various suspicious activities, including allegations that he may be linked to the deaths of key individuals from Uptown Records, suggesting that several people connected to him mysteriously died after beginning work on Tell All Books. The music industry, especially in that era, provided men in powerful positions the ability to exploit vulnerable, often young women under the guise of mentorship and career advancement. Jay-Z's relationship with Foxy Brown is particularly significant due to her age and the power disparity. Despite being a successful rapper at the time, Jay-Z had significant control over Foxy's early career, making the accusations of their relationship whether true or not a reflection of the broader issue of exploitation in the industry. Foxy herself has never confirmed these allegations, but rumors persist, likely because the music industry had little oversight of such power dynamics in the 90s. Dame Dash has been openly critical of Jay-Z's association with R. Kelly, especially after R. Kelly's history of predatory behavior became public knowledge. Dash was dating Aaliyah at the time, who had a problematic and illegal marriage to R. Kelly when she was underage. Despite Dash's personal relationship with Aaliyah, Jay-Z continued to collaborate with R. Kelly, releasing the best of both worlds and engaging in tours together. Dash has expressed deep discomfort with this collaboration, viewing it as a betrayal of the ethics he believed they shared. Foxy Brown has been silent on the details of her relationship with Jay-Z, but rumors of a relationship between them persist. Foxy was signed to Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records at a very young age, and their close working relationship fueled speculation that their connection was more than professional. While there has been no legal investigation into these claims, they remain part of the broader narrative about the treatment of women in hip-hop during that time. The allegations against Jay-Z and Diddy illustrate a common theme in the 1990s music industry, particularly in hip-hop. Both moguls have been accused of manipulating power dynamics to exploit young women. Wendy Williams provided footage of the incident involving Diddy and Jay-Z engaging in adult actions with a young man. Wendy Williams, known for her talk show and often diving into celebrity gossip, has a history of making bold claims and discussing controversies in the entertainment industry. Diddy and Jay-Z are seen as emblematic of the dark side of the industry. The accusations against Jay-Z and Diddy represent a broader pattern of problematic behavior within the music industry. These claims are not unique to Jay-Z and Diddy. Figures like R. Kelly, whose crimes were finally addressed in court, represent just how deeply these issues run within the music world. The industry has long faced criticism for fostering an environment where young women are particularly vulnerable to exploitation, and moguls like Jay-Z and Diddy have been accused of perpetuating that culture. Jay-Z and Beyoncé are one of the most iconic power couples in the entertainment industry however, their relationship has been far from smooth, with public controversies shedding light on its complexities. When they first started dating, the age gap between them Beyoncé was 19 and Jay-Z was in his early 30s raised questions about the power dynamics at play. Despite this, their relationship evolved into a public partnership that grew alongside their careers. Their continued success, even in the face of such allegations, highlights how powerful individuals can avoid consequences as long as their influence remains intact. Cuba Gooding on the PBD podcast, claims that Diddy is stupid for doing whatever he is doing and that he can't think what he is doing is wrong.